I'm Rebecca. I'm Zoe. This is Why Part 3. It happened. Everyone paid a price. I remember him. He had liked me for some time, apparently. He told me I was pretty. He was the first person to say I was normal. He liked my eyes. He was a little weird. He was my first. He tried to kiss me once. It was rainy outside. It was so hot outside. I had just gotten my acceptance letter to college. The graduation gown was heavy and so warm. I wanted to celebrate. He pressed me against his car. So I called him. His lips forming a pucker. He picked me up and we walked to his house. I jerked my head to the side, his lips pressing my cheek. We entered his room and he lowered the lights. He got outraged and squeezed my arm. We started to kiss and then one thing led to another. If you hadn't come around the corner with that skull, he would have done more. I had condoms with me. He let me go and walked away. I walked home alone in the cold that night. I felt too hot and threw my gown off. I got home and felt so dirty, I took a shower. I saw you and you looked and you looked confused. I called you when you talked about homework. You asked me why I was so mad. You spoke of your dog who was begging you for dinner. You said it was normal to be in a relationship at our age. I listened to the normalcy of what is you. You sneered at me and said that having feelings for men was normal. I quickly pushed away his memory. You said that it was about time. You asked what was wrong. You said that whatever had happened with us was wrong. I told you I slept with him. I said it was still beautiful. Silence. Silence. And that is the end, ladies and gentlemen. But there's nope, one more part. There's one there's more. There's one more. That's what I meant. I'm at the end of the <laughs> Oh, you didn't put the end, right? 